King Cobra is gonna get his cage today. Come on, look at this. Pick all the different plant life that's found in Malaysia, like fig trees, bamboo, mangroves. Yeah! There we go. Now let's let him crawl around, investigate, and get used to his new kingdom. How do you feel? Oh, a little defensive, I see. He still has the second largest venom yield of any venomous snake on the planet, able to take down a bull elephant and put it into toxicity overload. Let's see if we can get him to eat for us. Whoa! Holy smokes! The king of all kings, the king cobra, chewing down on a meal. Look at his size, look how big he is. This is the true king of the snake world. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to my wild life. I'm so happy to share with you guys, Kevin the King Cobra is gonna get his cage today. Come on, look at this. We've got this whole mural done by Sherry. Sherry is a very talented artist, and she did all this background. She went specific to what Malaysian King Cobras have down the wild, so she picked all the different plant life that's found in Malaysia, like fig trees, bamboo, mangroves, all the different plant matter. We've got a good leaf litter, Looks beautiful, great backdrop. And if you look, if you back up, you can see that Kevin's gonna have all of the space. He's gonna be able to do a slither, go wherever he wants to go. Now we just have to decorate the enclosure. So come here, follow me. We're gonna go through the double work. This is what keeps it safe for when I do too rich for guests and I bring them close to the King Cobras. So uh, big shout out to Flamingo Gardens. Flamingo Gardens, uh, Sharon Gallagher from Flamingo Gardens was nice enough to gather up all these bamboo leaves and bamboo. So we're gonna be able to make Kevin feel like he's out in the wild. So check this out. Look at this. Not my car, my truck. It's right over there. It's the one with the little dent in the back. That's why you don't give your brother the keys when you're injured. Anyways, look at this. We've got all this bamboo. We're gonna be laying around the place. Beautiful family, just like they got in Malaysia. That's why the King Cobra's got that beautiful blonde sunshine color from the bamboo leaf litter and all the different plants out there that have that yellow coloration that they match with. So we got all this bamboo that we can put up in there. We'll figure something out for this where he can utilize it and it'll look beautiful. And then two big bags of bamboo leaf litter, sticks, all kinds of stuff that they'll naturally have out in the wilds of Malaysia and other parts of Southeast Asia where king cobras are found. They love the bamboo leaf litter. The key to the bamboo leaf litter is they love to use it for nesting material. So eventually, when we were to get a female king cobra, she can build up a nest. That's the cool thing about king cobras. They literally use their coils to bring up a nest to make a mound about that big. They lay their eggs inside it and then they guard it like a crocodile. That's why I love king cobras, they're so cool. So, we're not done yet. We still have to go get a little fan to put on top of the enclosure to suck in fresh air and push out hot air. So it's like a mountain breeze, just like they'd had out in the wild. So we're gonna go get soil, uh, peat moss. We're gonna do a mixture, lay that as the bottom layer and then put the leaf litter on top put some bamboo in there, water dish hide, and let Kevin have his enclosure. I'm going simplistic for right now. And then in the next couple weeks, we're gonna start doing live plants and all that kind of fun stuff. So I'm super excited. I've been waiting for this for over, over three, four, five years now. I've been waiting to do this for Kevin. And even before I had Kevin, I had plans for a monstrous walk-in enclosure because that's what a king deserves, a kingdom. All right, guys, let's go get all the supplies inside the Serpentarium and I'll see you guys and a split. All right, beautiful people. I got organic gardening soil with no additives. We're gonna get around 10 bags of this stuff and then get two big bricks of peat moss to add humidity. So this would be great. And as much as I would love to put one of these plants in the enclosure right now, I've gotta do a couple more things. So I have an area where they can have good soil, good depth, and also good plant light. So we're gonna have to wait a little bit for that. And this will be the last piece of the puzzle for the soil, peat moss, big brick of it. Not even gonna wet it, just gonna put it in there and it holds moisture. Look at that, perfect. And we can't forget about Kevin's water dish. Eventually I'll do something like a waterfall, but for now, this is more realistic. A big concrete mixing tub that he can coil up in and it'll help him with the shedding process with bats. Big old thing of peat moss, or peat soil, whatever you want to call it. Great for humidity, just make it like the rainforest. <laughs> and I got good mine. What was your name again, Scott? Scott? Scott, thank you so much. Scott's giving me a hand. We got all this soil, okay. all this for Kevin the King Cobra. Just came to under 200 bucks. And all this soil. I don't think we have enough soil. What do you think, Scott? We got no soil, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll get this in there. We'll put in the back seat, Scott. We don't have to get so aggressive, Scott. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I'll see you guys at the house. Woo!
we got all of our stuff. We are good to go. You might hear some rumbling outside because we have a big storm rolling in, but we're not going to let it stop us because Kevin the King Cobra deserves his kingdom. So what we got is we got a bunch of soil. We got peat moss. We got a fan. The fan is super important for ventilation because with the King Cobras, they live out in the mountains. It's a beautiful high altitude, lots of good airflow. So we want to make sure that this enclosure doesn't get stagnant with air. Another good thing is with this fan, if he goes to the bathroom, he'll keep the enclosure from building up the scent of ammonia. And we don't want him in there. I got a warranty on this inner seat, so I don't care. I'm just gonna rip the box open. No instructions needed, it's a fan. You just turn it on. Yeah, baby. Really simple, nothing crazy. We're just gonna hook this baby up. Yeah, that's how a man opens a box. Oh, yeah, I can kick now with that leg. Ooh, take note. All we're gonna do now is just set it up in place and we'll turn it on at the end. Just put it on two, nice low setting and lay it just like that. So it's pulling that air and pushing it into the enclosure. Very lovely part of uh, the exhibit, as you can see, where we have our artwork that people aren't gonna see as much anymore, our lovely mamba. Lots of cobwebs up here. Gonna have to get volunteers to help us with that. The fan will rest right here. Just like that, easy peasy. And then all I gotta do is plug this into that surge protector way over there. I don't really want to climb on top of this enclosure, but I will because it's so sturdy, I trust it. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Don't worry guys, it's super secure. Oh boy. Oh, I'm scared. I mean, this enclosure is so secure. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, it works. The fan's on. Woo! Look at that. And it's on a low setting right now, so it's sucking in the air, pushing it out, making it nice and cool in there. You know what? It's actually pretty quiet, so we'll leave it on. Let's see how that fan feels. Woo! Yeah, baby! And we're gonna have to start cutting open all these bags. Good thing I got my favorite knife from my childhood. What a fun wow challenge that was. Yeah! There we go. And just start filling it up on here. Probably do a little quick montage. Start montage, go! Get all this leaf litter from Flamingo Gardens. Thank you again. Big shout out to Flamingo Gardens and Shannon Gallagher for bringing all this bamboo leaf litter. <laughs> this is so cool. I've been waiting forever to be able to do this. I'm so happy for this animal. This is all he deserves and some. It'll get better and better as time goes on. His enclosure will look even better. Will grow in here. The thing about reptiles that makes them so cool is that they never stop growing throughout their lifetime. If they have the right space, the right food, the right temperature, they can never stop growing. Just like a crocodile, just like a python, a king cobra, they all have the potential to live a very, very long life. That's what makes them so cool. Woo! This is awesome! Look at this! This is great! I'm in love! I couldn't be happier! This is what it's all about, giving back to what you love. Whether it's how you keep them in captivity or just conservation of the species. If you grew up loving these animals, it feels amazing to give back to what you love. Woo, look at that. How about that for a bath for a King Cobra? I'm gonna have to jump in there and dip with him. We got our water coming in, nice cool water. And check this out. A nice hide makes it look like something out in a garden, out in Malaysia maybe. You know, sometimes people end up having these animals show up in their garden, inside their houses. And over the years, people watch these videos. People go, man, I love Kevin the King Cobra. And they go, we have King Cobras in our native range. I have people message me from Borneo, the Philippines, throughout Southeast Asia, throughout India. And they go, we used to fear the King Cobra. We used to kill the King Cobra. And now, because of Kevin, we love the King Cobra. So we're trying to replicate 
kind of like what they would have out on the wild. Sometimes they end up in an agricultural situation. So going simple, we got a nice hide for them to hide in. We'll definitely do some bigger hides in the future. As you can hear, it's kind of loud because we have a rainstorm coming in hitting the roof right now, but no worries. I think what I'm gonna do is create a second hide for Kevin using the bamboo, but also it acts as a ramp for him to get into the water. Look at this. He can hide in this little crevice. He can use it as a ramp, good to go. I'll get more bamboo, fix it up where it's a whole platform, a nice hiding spot. Look at this, how cool is this, guys? This is what he deserves. This is awesome. Comment below, how do you guys feel? I think I know how you guys feel, because you probably feel like how I do. This is Kevin's enclosure, look at this, woo! Kevin's kingdom, the mansion, everything I've been waiting to give him for years now. And he gets to live the rest of his life in this kingdom. Woo, all right, beautiful people, time for the moment of truth. Putting Kevin the King Cobra in his new enclosure. Let me just get my snake hook ready and take out this beautiful King Cobra. Let's see, he's right here in the back. He's already wondering what's going on. What's going on, big boy? And he already went through shed, so he's looking beautiful. Kevin, come on, don't be too upset. You're about to get the enclosure of a life. Look at this. Look at this big boy. Come with me, come with me. I gotta show you something. Woo! Kevin the King Cobra, a beast of a Malaysian King Cobra. All right, let's get him into the enclosure. Ooh, a little bit of a, a little bit of a turnaround. Let me just get my hand. So it's ready. There we go. Walk him right into his new set. Woo! Woo! Look at that! Look at him. He's like, where's that? Let him crawl around, investigate, and get used to his new kingdom. All new scents and smells. Like, look how big he is. He stretches across almost this whole enclosure. And this enclosure is 16 feet deep. He's almost as long as the whole enclosure. So it shows you he's roughly about 14, 15 feet long. He is a beast of a king cobra. And with this new leaf litter, with all these new scents and smells, it's a sensory overload. It's enrichment. If you look through this, you can find different things, like we're finding like little bits of, look at, look at this wild snake skin. That's gonna throw him in a sensory overload. That's great for him. Oh, yes. Ooh, what's going on, big boy? This is what everyone's wanted to know. How is, gonna, how is he gonna act in his new enclosure? How is he gonna be acting with me inside a larger exhibit? But look at this. He's getting a little defensive. He's guarding his area. Look at this, with this beautiful background. Big shout out to Sherry Spencer. She's the one who did this big mural. Fantastic artist, check her out right below. Kevin, what do you think? Huh? You happy, big boy? Now this is just the beginning. We're eventually gonna have big branches everywhere for him to climb. Lots of live plants with plant lights up above to keep him alive. Kevin's gonna be super happy. Look how big Kevin the King Cobra is. He is a massive beast. Kevin, I love you. I hope you know that. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Look at that. Ooh, what are you doing? What are you doing? How about this, Kevin? How about this? What if I go over here and I show you that you actually got some water? Oh, 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 oh. Nice and easy, buddy. Nice and easy. We're not going to hurt you. We're not going to hurt you. What if I told you that you can actually bathe on your own now? What do you think about that? What do you think about that, huh? You wanna check that out? Check out that water. Look at that, how cool is that, Kevin? How do you feel, buddy? How do you feel? Oh, a little defensive, I see. Don't strike me now, okay? You're a good boy. You're a real good boy. Still can't make a mistake. Just because I've known Kevin for many years now, 
doesn't mean that he wouldn't bite me in defense and inject me with venom. He still has the second largest venom yield of any venomous snake on the planet, able to take down a bull elephant and put it into toxicity overload. Drop for drop, they're not one of the most venomous snakes on the planet, but they have such a big venom yield, if you get bit, you go into toxicity overload. Your body can't handle it. Your renal functions go into failure because they can't process all the toxins. Look at that. You beautiful boy, look at you. I know, I know, I know. I'm proud of you. You deserve this, and I love you. Good boy, good boy. He does not like uh, touches like a dog does. So me scratching him, it is a bit of stimulation, but it's definitely not like a dog. It's just something I like to do, something I can get away with with my handling experience, and it's a privilege to be able to stroke the longest venomous snake on the planet right on his hood and give him a beautiful kingdom that he deserves. Guys, this is what it's all about. All right, we're gonna let him get used to his new enclosure. And we're gonna come back in probably about an hour or two and see if we'll eat a meal in his new enclosure. Isn't that right, Kevin, huh? All right, you stay here. I'm gonna go and you enjoy yourself. Before we feed Kevin in this video, we gotta put Justina in a little bit of a bump up. So, his enclosure, Kevin's enclosure, is deeper than the one that Justina's in right now. And so Justina has a little more space until she gets a big custom enclosure. We're gonna be putting her in Kevin's old enclosure. So let's just get her out real quick. Nice little transfer. She needed to get her enclosure clean anyways, so it works out great. Oh, you are just on fire. Woo! Oh, 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 watch yourself. There you go, got your tail, baby. Look at that. Come here, baby. Look at that, what a smoke show of a King Cobra. Woo, Justina, the king of the queens. I can just give her a kiss, but let's not play too many games. We still have to feed Kevin, so let's get her into Kevin's enclosure. Relax, nice and easy. I can feel her growling on my hands. They have that modified trachea, which allows them to growl, which makes them such an impressive snake species. All right. Get this closed, nice and secure. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now she has more space, she'll feel more comfortable. Now, let's see what Kevin's doing. Look at him. Kevin was just checking out Justina. What's going on, big boy? You think you're ready to eat some food? Look at him, ooh. He's in an open area. He's still figuring everything out. Let's not spook him. Let's go in the enclosure and let's see if he's wanting to eat some food. So come on. We got a nice Burmese python about like a yeah, like a five foot snake to frost him. Let's go in there. Let's see how he's doing. See if he'll eat for us. Oh, he smokes. It feels really good in here too. That's the best part. That feels cool like the forest. So let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can get him to eat for us. Let's see. I'm not going to get too close. Let's see what we can get going on here. Get it. You hungry? Uh oh, look at this. I'm really not sure how he's going to respond in this habitat. I think he's more interested in me at the moment. Oh, no, he's going to feed me. Look at that. See, that's the typical feeding mode of a king cobra. They start flicking their tongue like crazy, figuring out that that's a food item. Look at, ooh, let's see if we can do a little chase. A little chase, huh? A little chase. Ooh, a little chase. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ooh, come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. What do you want that? You want that bit right there? Huh? You want that? There we go, big boy. Look at him chewing down. Ooh, gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Ooh. 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 Gotta be careful. Oh, watch my foot. He definitely wants. Ooh, 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 ooh. He's that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He, ooh. He's definitely interested. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. He's chasing it down. Huh? Look at this. Woo! Look at this. He's going in for the chase. You want that, huh? You want that? Nice, easy going, nice, easy going. Ooh. Come on, big boy, have a chew. Have a chew, come on, come on. Come on. Whoa! Look at that! Oh, gotta watch my hands. Ooh, gotta really watch my hands. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. Whoa! 
Holy smokes, gotta wash my fingers. Woo, look at that. King Cobra. Woo, chewing on a good prey item. Look at that. Ah, like it's nothing. Isn't this insane? The beast, the king of all kings, the King Cobra chewing down on a meal. Look at his size, look how big he is. This is the true king of the snake world. And this, what it's all about. This is what I want to share with you guys. My wildlife, my beautiful animals. Look at this. The opportunity to give a King Cobra what it needs to make it feel comfortable, to let them eat in a big open area. Look at this. This is what it's all about. How cool is this? What a journey it's been. From my first ever venomous snake room, the size of a bathroom with Kevin the King Cobra, little pit vipers surrounding me, Abba Abba fish in the fish tank, and now years later, here at Chandler's Wild World on an 11 acre property inside a 16 foot deep, 10 foot wide, eight foot tall King Cobra exhibit. This is what it's all about. This. what I live for. I love you guys. Stay passionate about what you guys love. Never give up on your dreams and everything will fall into place. Woo! Let's go! I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and most of all, follow your dreams and stay passionate about what you love. This is what I live for.